Let me do an introduction at home and I'll put it on. You got it on? Is it clear? Well, the light in the background is making it a little fuzzy. Is that better? That's how you zoom in, Mom. I know, I was trying to... Okay. You ready? Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Bat with Paranormal here tonight. At a um, resident's home. Um, had reports of talking in this room. Um, there's a cold, it was cold all in the room, except for one spot earlier, it was warm right there, but the rest of the room was ate up, it was cold, I had a fan on, turned the fan off, it started to cool, warm, cool down, or warm up a little bit in here, um, but the strangest thing was that, um, everybody in this room was cool, except for where, my daughter, you hear that? Okay, there's a sit, was standing, it was warm, like there was a body there, like there was a warm figure there, so, um, we have, a, and they said there's other things happening in the house, um, besides this room, there's another room that has, um, evident, have paranormal activity, um, the living room, the rocking chair has paranormal activity, so they, they come in, it's rocking by itself, something is in the closet moving right now, come here, so I just seen it. See, I seen a figure go by and through the closet. That's me. So we will not do it. Uh, I'm not gonna do too much of K2 reading in here because of electricity. I will do the K2 reading when I have all the electricity off in this home room. Um, so I do have my lovely wife with me today and my daughter with me. So they are with me tonight. Um, but anyways, like I said this is the house was built in the 1900s, early 1900s. So let's see. I'm gonna get my camera back to my wife. All right, we're gonna do an EVP session and see if we can get, pick anything up on it. So y'all, um, give me about two, three seconds without the record, so I get turned on. Okay, to the spirits that are in this room with us right now, I know you're here, uh, Mr. Wayne, Mr. Marvin Hendricks, Wayne Hendricks, um, I know you, they say you go by Wayne, I know, I know your family, Simi and all them, real close with them, I know you, you probably don't remember me, my name's Scott Williams, this is my wife Jennifer Williams, and my daughter Brittany Williams, we are ghost hunters, paranormal investigators, um, we've been investigating the dead, the young, sorry, no disrespect, the unliving for four, over four years now. So, uh, I'm here to ask you a couple questions. Find out why you're here, why, and what's keeping you here. If there's something, is there an object in this room that has you here that you're holding on to, or if you're, or, or, or if you're, for some reason you're not just letting go and passing over, we would like to know that way we can help the family understand that um and give them an explanation. So Mr. Marvin Hendricks, we we uh, we would greatly appreciate it if you would if you would speak to us today, um, either on this recorder or on this um or on my um spirit box that we will do in a few minutes. Um, if you would like to show yourself here in a little bit, I will turn the lights off. And I will take flash pictures. You can manifest. You can do an orb. However you feel comfortable. Just letting us know you're here. Um, family needs some comfort. Things are happening. Miss um, Michelle's hair is getting pulled. I need to find out if there's anything bad in here. If you can help me with that. You also can let me know where it's at. Where it's located. I can get rid of it. Get it gone. So y'all ain't got to deal with it. Um, if it's holding y'all here. Maybe I can get rid of it. I can, I can get rid of it for you and y'all can move on and leave this family in peace because you're frightening them. They're scared. So they would like to have a little bit of peace if that's all right with you. 
and um, the rest of the family that's passed away in here, that's here today with us, I'm asking the same thing. If there's anything that you can help us with on the negative side, I greatly appreciate it. Show us where that negative energy or negative location is, or negative manifestation is, and we, I can go in and get rid of it. So um, we're going to do an EVP session. I'm going to give you about... I'm going to give you about three minutes, four minutes to talk to me. They gave me something. And I'm not going to be scared. I'm not here to hurt you or disrespect you. By no means. I know I know your family, Miss Tina Hendricks, Sammy Hendricks. And I know all them. I was, I was raised up around them. So um, I'm not a stranger to the family. I just don't know if you remember. I know when I seen your picture, Mr. Marvin, I realized I remember seeing you, meeting you. So as a kid. So, um, I'm going to ask you now, on this recorder, it says recorder, it won't hurt you, you know what it is, um, I'm going to press play, if you please just talk to me and tell me why, why you're still here, if there was holding you or what's keeping you here, I'd greatly appreciate it. So, I'm going to give you about three, three to four minutes to talk to me, to talk to us, and to give us an answer, that way I can give them comfort and give them answers to their questions. Uh, no. Jennifer, Brittany, total quietness. Uh, I'm pressing play now. Record now. My hand just got pure lit up. I know what you were saying. I don't think my own knew what you were saying. My hand was burning. Feel that. That's hot. Alright. Let's see. That's deep breathing, that's like... <sighs> that's when you were talking. Saying that your hand was burning. some deep breath. Alright, it is. That's heavy breathing. Like it's just gassing for air. Mm -hmm. So we did get something on that. Crazy. My hand did feel like it was burning. I mean, literally it's not burning now. But the recorder was freaking hot this recorder I ain't it's my first this is one of my newer one but I like that I've used it it don't get hot no but I've never felt it get hot like this and then and my hand is prepared burn so we did get some evidence on that we will leave that right there alright um Jim we've had to turn the light off um yeah, I mean, just, what do you have here just um keep that on just put the camera on this I will turn this light on. All right. So um, not on the paperwork or nothing. Uh, let's do the bed. So 
I'm gonna turn this light off. Brittany, stay right there. Okay. All right. Uh, to to Mr. Wayne, Mr. Marvin, um, got you breathing. Got somebody breathing on the uh, EVP session. They get a deep, light breath, like they're gasping for air. That's crazy. So I know you're, I know you're in here, and um, you won't give me a name. So I'm gonna add on this K2 meter. There's lights on it: two green, a yellow, orange, and a red. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, and do, if you if you can. And I tell you, give me a, a two greens or a yellow or an orange or red. I'd appreciate you if you do your best to either manifest all your energy that you got to use this box and to light it up for me. So, um, all right, Jen. So, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna set it on the bed. That way, I'm not touching it because you know I burnt my hand last time when I quarter. Um, and it was tingling really bad. So, um, I'm turning it on. Holy crap. Right on the bed? Alright. So, you're giving me two greens right now. If your name, if your name is Morgan, can you give me an yellow? Can you give me a yellow? If you're another relative in this room and you're not Mr. Marvin, can you stop making that one green flash? Is anybody. Where's your phone? Where's my phone at, Jen? My phone's in the back of my pocket. But I'm way over here. Uh, here. Uh, can you still see it? I'm trying to get away from everything that's... You gotta find it. Because all the power is over here now, right? Don't be too close, Mom. Yeah, back up a little bit. Back up. Alright, to, to the spirits in this room. If, if it's, um... Or if you're the grandfather or grandmother, or one of the sis or the sister that passed in his room, can you give me a, can you give me an yellow? Stop. Okay. If you're a, if you're a demonic, if you're a negative spirit in his room. Can you stop flashing the green? Can you quit playing with the green? Not too close, Jim. Back up. Can you stop playing with the green, please? Right, he did for a second. So, um... If you're a relative, can you can you give me a solid two greens? Solid two greens. Can you keep it green? Solid both greens solid. If you're a native spirit, can you give me two greens? Can you give me two solid greens if you're a negative spirit? Pretending to be something good. If there's any other relatives in here with us, can they help light up the light up to the yellow? Can you give me a yellow? Alright. So here what I'm getting out of. It's not none of the relatives. It's something else. Yeah, it's is a is a bad spirit. I don't feel no negatives, but a lot of times they can hide that negative negativity and pretend to be something they're not. If I'm talking to, about you and you know I'm right, give me two greens. 
It did blink two tw times on the green. Yeah. Alright. I think that's what it's thinking that you mean. Yeah. See, yeah. it did it again. So it is a negative spirit in here with us. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I've, I've figured it out. So we will be white sage in this room for your for your benefit. Why don't you go to red? If you don't like that, can you give me a red? No, he didn't like that, did he? He didn't give me a red either. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna stop it here. I'm going to turn it off. Don't move. Can you give me another? There you go. Can you light up the orange? We're getting a yellow. A good yellow now. He's wanting, they're wanting to play. Wow. All right. Um, you can turn that off. Alright. Alright guys, what we're going to do is do some flash pictures. Um, it's not so dark in here. So Jeff and Brittany, y'all get everybody the door. Um, don't move. Okay. So, we'll take some, try to do some pictures in here. Turn this back on where I can see. Alright, so guys, we're going to do a spare box session. We caught some deep breathing on the, um, my wife's trying to focus me in. Hang on, baby. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on to it. Alright, so my wife's trying to focus me in. Uh, probably surprised if they don't go blurry somewhere here with the, with the spirit that's in here with us. Um, let me know when you're ready. Alright, so we got, we're going to do a necrophonics, at, uh, necrophonics spirit box session. Um, the spirit box is, is created by Ed and Lorraine Lord. It is 100% legit. There's um, tons of paranormal investigators use this app. Um, it's the only legit app on the phone. So, it's, ten, it's ten, nine ninety nine dollars for the app. Make sure you pay for it. It's not free. If it says free, then it's not, it's not, the, it's not the true app. So make sure you you have to pay for it, and it is legit. So um, there's a spirit here with us today. It's a negative spirit, as y'all can tell already from the K2 meter. And there's some like gasping for deep breath there on the on the um, voice recorder. So um, that's good. That's best evidence so far. And the K in the K2 readings, we got a yellow at the end. It went give us a yellow. Then we stopped recording and it started giving us yellow. Uh, so I turned the camera back on. We got it where it's back on yellow. And so I finally started communicating with us. We're going to try to use this. And I'm a JBL speaker to communicate with the, with this spirit. Let's see what it says. All right. To the spirit here with us, my name is Scott Williams again. Jeremy Williams and Brittany Williams. Brittany goes by sh Spirit Wolf or Shadow Wolf. Jammer just goes by Jammer. So, uh, anyways. <laughs> or the wife. Huh? Or the wife. Or the wife. On, on my phone, it's the wife. So, um, guys, we, um, we are, to the spirit here, we are a family invest, investigation team. Um, we're, I'm going to ask you questions. They're here to back me up. They're here to help me in any way. So, um, they're just as much true as I am to you. They will not disrespect you. They will not be mean to you. And they will not run if you do something to them. I won't. I know you won't. I'm just get that in your mama's head. <laughs> the wife don't like to be haunted. Touch. So, did it click off? So, alright, here we go. To the spirit, to the uh, spirit here with us, can you tell me who you are? Can you give me your name? Is it Wayne? We immediately said Wayne. He said, see, she's right. Rob the bat. 
Wayne, are you with us? Hello. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Okay. Uh, Mr. Wayne, my name is Scott Williams. Am I new? My mom and daddy, Donna Rich Williams. <laughs> So, um, just trying to tell you who I am and where and my parents are. That way you have an idea who I am. Right. Right. So, who else is with us today? <laughs> Wayne, is any other relatives with you today here? Myself. Myself. Is there any of your in laws with you today? What was that? That was that bad spirit. Uh, I heard that before. That I one. said survive or something. Did you hear the breathing on that? That was the same breathing. Yeah, ooh, okay. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna stop this period of session. Um, there are some bad spirits yeah. in this room. Mr. Wayne is here with us. Mr. Wayne, are you here with us still? Leave. Leave. We are here, and I heard leave. Leave. I, I'm not leaving. No. I'm not scared of y'all. If you're if you're a demonic spirit here with us today, you need to leave. <laughs> Here. Leave. That's two times it said leave. You can't you can't scare me. You can't make me leave. I hear the being mixed with Can you move something in this room? No. <laughs> Why? Leave. That's three times they told me to leave. Why do you want me to leave? Hurry. Hurry. What? Why do you want me to leave? Quick. Quick. Can you answer my question? Leave here now. Said leave here now. Yeah. Am I supposed to be scared of something here? Yes or no? I heard relative. Relative. Uh, Am I invading in your area? I can't feel you. I can't feel you. So what is this about this room that y'all were so crowded in for it? Is there something in this room that y'all are attached to? Is there anything on the dresser? Yeah. Is it the Barbie doll? I just heard teddy bear. Oh. Is it a teddy bear? Oh. Is that a Vulcan skill skin teddy bear? I think so. No, it's a Valentine bear. Okay. Is it is it a is it the bar the doll on the dresser? No. Oh. Yellow. Blue. White. There's still something that's in the door. You feel it? It may be the wind though, the fan blowing it. But not the knob. It sounds like the knob, not the tape. Because tape don't make a noise like that. So we are getting 
I've been told to leave three times. It's still there flames is. four times. They are something on the dresser. That I believe it's a doll. Yeah. Yes. Like, I'm staring at all of these three, and all I can see is completely staring at that doll. So, uh, yeah. we noticed, we noticed this room is active. There's something in it. Don't bull me. That's Robert. <laughs> that was Robert. Uh, Go ahead, Robert. I'm not talking to you. But anyways, uh, hey, that was Wayne. Hi. Uh, Wayne, how are you, buddy? Dead. Dead. Okay, I'm sorry, that was kind of... Leave. There he goes to leave again. Five times. That. Alright, so, um, we're going to stop this bit of my session. We'll go in there and talk to the family. We'll let them know that they pick up already five times telling us to leave the room. We all come back in white sage room. Then come back to this period of my session. She said what? You heard me. You told me to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm they, back they in. They already said that six times now. If you don't want me back in this room when I leave out of here, you keep me from coming to that door. Can you keep, when I leave this door, room, and you don't want me back in this room, when I come back to that white sage, you don't let me in this room. He said all right. All right. We're going to see what happens. All right. So we're going to start the spirit box session. Pause it. No. Hold on. We're going to go into the kitchen. We're going to oh. talk to the family. Tell them the evidence we have called in here. Show them the deep breathing. All that. And now it's told us five times on the spirit wants to leave. I heard the little tap on the door. And the, and the door. So then we're gonna try to, then we're gonna try out. They don't want us back in this room. Then they won't let me through that door. Let's see what happens. I'm expecting to see you not go through the door. But I'm I'm coming I'm going back in. Room. So Okay, that's seven times. Six times to leave. Seven. Seven. Alright, we're gonna stop it. We're gonna go outside the room. But I'm coming back. You hear me? Give me a yes or yes if you hear me. Give me a yes. Alright. Alright, so let's go in there. Alright, there's your corner. Uh, Where are you moving the stand? Just behind me. Okay. Hold on. I just try to keep it on the uh, spirit box. I won't. Oh, okay. I won't. Um, is this still? Yeah. All right, what we'll do is um, I'm gonna open it up. Um, see if they're still with us. See if they're willing to talk to us. Okay. If y'all recognize any of the voices, don't be don't don't be afraid to speak up and say, hey, this is this is such such. We miss you. We love you. Um, you know whatever, whatever you feel like they tell you, we want to tell them. That would be the time to do it. Okay. Especially if it's your sister and you hear her and you, you know you know her voice and you're welcome you're you're welcome to say, Hey, that's my sister, I will be quiet and you're welcome to, to, to tell her what you want to tell her. And she, if she don't say anything bad, that's fine. Don't think she's ignoring you or she's left, she's still there. She just sometimes when the spirits hear her other loved ones besides a stranger like me, they get they get choked up like y'all like you do. So it's hard for them to speak. So just you know, just ensure them that you're okay. You know, Harry. You know, let them know it's fine if they want to move on. They don't gotta stick around. So yes, best time is try to. It's the best thing to do is most times try to help them cross over, because while they're here, they're using a lot of energy, and they're hurting, and they want to hear that. But it's best for them going cross over that way. They're not having to use that energy. They're not having to try to fight between the spiritual world and the, the pull, you know, the gravity pull between the spiritual world and the earthly world, world they're not being pulled apart. So the best thing to do is try to assure them you're okay, you miss them, you love them, and that you'll see them again, and you will. That way, it gives them comfort, it gives you comfort, and they can move on. So. Yes, sir. Thank you. Right. So, um, again, to the spirits in this house, to the relatives in this house, to the, to the Hendrix in this house, um, again, y'all know who I am, Scott Williams, um, y'all know my wife, Brittany, and you know my wife, Jennifer, we just got through talking to you, 
Can I have your loved ones with you? I'm Ms. Michelle, right? Yes, sir. Brenda. Brenda. Dakota. Dakota. Crystal. And Crystal here with us today. And if the sister is still here with us and he would like to talk to her, to Ms. Michelle, she would like to hear from you. She would like to be able to talk to you. Um, if there's any, what, Mr. Wayne, if you're here and he would like to talk to any of them, they, they would like to hear from you too. Um, try to give y'all some closing, try to give y'all some both sides on um, comfort and peace. That way y'all can move on over to this, into the spiritual life and then get out of this gravity pull between the physical world and the spiritual world or the physical uh, realm or the spiritual realm, how you want to refer to it as. So, um, yeah, I will open up this spirit box session. Um, again, Wayne, Wayne, and uh, what was your sister's name? Connie. Connie, if y'all are here with us today, I know you, Wayne, you was with me in the other room. If you're here with me in the kitchen now, and Miss Connie's with us, can you let us know? Miss <laughs> Connie, are you here? Wayne, are you here? Was that her? Miss Connie? Your sister's here with you. She would like to say something to you. Will you listen to her? Yes. She called me Shale. <laughs> she always called me. <laughs> She says fine. Love it. I love you. She said your name again. Yes, D. I miss you. Oh my God. I miss you. I love you. I love you. Yes, I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah. Yes, I'm just here. Hey, Connie, I love you. Bye. Bye. 
She's gone. No. She's gone. She's gone. Yeah. She said she's gone. It was her. It was her. It was her voice. She caught herself. And then she said D. She called me D. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Stop it. Nice to see you.